Coach Bennett, I know you probably never have heard this, but besides the guy I just interviewed, you're the smallest guy I've interviewed today. Yeah. It's a bunch, a bunch of giants, dude. Yeah, You've seen it's a bunch of Ohio State football yes. players, former and NFL guys. Oh, yeah. But you've probably never heard you're small. No, no. <laughs> not, not normally. No. Uh, so let's talk Graham. Let's talk Graham yeah. football. I saw the soup. The yeah. soup and I were at the uh, – I took my son to his first Browns game. Yeah. Because I like crushing defeat and despair. Uh, Coach Chad, or, uh, Chad Lensman, your superintendent, yeah. the soup, as I like to call him. He was at the game. Yeah. Great guy. And his son's playing for you today, right? Yes, yes, he is. So, so Chad, shout out to Chad. you got to give him some cool Zebulon Miller stickers, oh, right? I will. Yeah, oh, yeah. All right, oh, all right. Yeah. Uh, how is Graham doing today? Have you guys played a game yet? We played our first game um, at just, what was that, 9, 9.30, and uh, we lost by one. You lost uh, by one? One. Was it, what was it? What, two. Two? two? two. Extra uh, point? Uh, Two-point conversion? Uh, we lost by two two touchdowns. Two uh, touchdowns, okay. And the boys gave up. Unfortunately, they got, they got winded. Third half, they, or second half, they got winded. Yeah. And, and they just kind of give up on themselves. Uh we had a little pep talk out in the parking lot, so we're hoping we'll go back to this game and take it, little, hopefully. A little Champaign County yes, pep right. talk, huh? That's right. I'm guessing you told them, hey, uh, we got to stick to it here, oh, right? yeah, yeah. Because you guys can still technically make the A bracket if you win this game and there's like a tie and there's criteria, right? Yes, yes. So they got to know that. Oh, yeah. Oh, so yeah. you can't give up. No, we can't, no. I talked to all those former Buckeyes, and their biggest thing is you guys are flying blind. No, you don't know unless it's a team from the area. You yeah. don't know these kids that you're playing against, no. and you have no video, no experience. No, against them, no, right? no. We uh, we actually we promoted a bunch for uh, to come up here. We had uh, our league we run. Uh, we tried to get uh, we had four teams on, on top of us to come up here uh, last minute. They I had three of them call me and say, "Hey, man, we're not gonna be able to make it up there." I said, "What happened?" They said, well, "We didn't have enough kids interested." I'm all right. Well, the one other team told me. Thursday say, man, we lost four of our linemen. We're not going to be able to go either. I was like, man, we're supposed to go up there, you know, give a good, you know, look, give some more kids up there. He's like, well, I'm sorry about that. So we've been pushing hard for, you know, get more teams down, you know, in our division and our league to come up here and participate. So hopefully I can get seven or eight of them to come next year. Because our league runs, uh, we run 17 teams in our league. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you told me about that last year. You yeah. got this, like, really competitive big league yeah. that you guys – and it's crazy because it's a rural area. Yeah, yeah. Right. Okay, you're not a diesel mechanic, are you? What are yes, you? I am. I, I got that. Yes, I am. Can you believe I remembered that? <laughs> it's better. We're like best friends, man. Right. You can come to the the soul-crushing Browns game. That's right, that's right. I mean, it's pretty terrible. <laughs> I don't know how the lensmen do it, man. The lensmen get up there and they get – they're season ticket holders. Oh, are they? Yeah. Do you know the longest 10 years of my life? It was the two years I was a Browns season ticket holder. <laughs> uh, building these kids up for high school football. Obviously, it's for middle school is what yeah. you're preparing for. But ultimately, you want the kids to play in high school. Uh -huh. And I'm guessing it doesn't matter to the school. Yeah. What's the biggest lesson you want them to take away from youth football? Uh, my personal is sportsmanship. I want them to learn the game but be respectful about it. Uh, win, lose, whatever be be courteous about it uh my kids you know if you see my kids out here they're gonna they're gonna shake your hand no matter if they you know you just beat them you know 90 something to nothing or whatever they're still gonna shake your hand they're still gonna hang out with you out here out there you know out and about they'll they'll talk to you everything else uh we're trying to build a little bit better morale for our kids we had a couple rough years there six seven years ago uh we're starting to build our program back last year we come up here with 13 kids, 14 kids, 14 kids. Uh, this year wow. we got, yeah. <laughs> 14 kids. Yeah, we have 14. That's brutal. Uh, this year we come up. Uh, you might not be able to finish the game sometimes. Yeah, yeah, it's rough. Right? This year we come up with 19. Uh, That's good. Yeah. Uh, from Gross. last year to this year, our, our league league standing, we went from 16 kids on our varsity level. Now we have 28. So we're, we're starting to get the more kids interested, uh, uh, on, you know, kind of cool but that's our pro our wrestling program we, we help each other out uh we they, have to they need off-season help we need on-season help vice versa so we kind of work together uh lensman's one of my my kids wrestles so he, lensman's one of his coaches so me and him we we talk about it we, we try to get everything straightened out so it works out pretty good with our schedules is chad lensman not one of the greatest inspirational stories that you could ever think of oh it is it is so I'm like, get, it like gives me chills to think about it. 100%. That dude got hit by a train. Yes. Lost his leg. 
um, went back. He had not graduated college yet. Yeah. Something in him, you know, he could have just gone and worked on the pig farm. Yeah. He could have just gone and done lens and pigs, worked with yeah. his dad, whatever, yeah. right? He decides to go back and get a degree. Yeah. Then it just leads to, oh, I got to get another degree. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to get another degree. He keeps getting yeah. degrees. He keeps climbing in the administration, in the administrative levels, at, and he was a superintendent. Yep. But do you guys ever talk to kids about that? Like, hey, man, oh, you're yeah. a diesel mechanic. And I was raised by a blue collar guy. My dad was an iron worker, yeah. right? There's nothing wrong. As long as you're doing something, yeah. it doesn't matter if it's blue collar, it doesn't matter if it's a trade. Oh, yeah. Whatever it is, it could be the superintendent for Graham. Yeah. You can you can take these things. Chad took wrestling. That was his vehicle. Yep. Football, right? Yep. Football's the vehicle. Do you guys talk about stuff like that? Yeah. Uh, the the boys out here know uh, I actually coach here and I coach middle school ball. Uh, so I tell my kids, listen, I'm building you guys up and I'm trying to help you guys for when you move up. And then we take you there in the middle school and we try to build you for high school. So this is a, a, a stair-step thing. And our high school helps out a lot with our program. Uh, they And our middle school helps out. And it's a stair-step thing. We're trying to do K through 12, just like our wrestling program. Uh, you know, a lot of my kids, you know, they, they're good kids. They really are. They just get that I'm the best. But then we have to go, hey, this is a team effort. This ain't no, there's no I in team. This is a team effort. So we've got that narrowed down now to where everybody's getting along good, uh, working good. The first couple of weeks of practices, it was rough. Uh, we had some stud kids that thought, you know, they didn't need anybody else. They turned around. They're probably the best helping kids, you know, help somebody else. You know, hey, you're doing this wrong or, hey, try this and this might help you. So I think all around we're doing better. Uh, we still got a lot to work on, but we're doing a lot better in my opinion. Have you trimmed that beard since we talked last? No. Doesn't look like it. No. Keep rocking it. I'm going to. I love it. My wife hates it. Well, you might want to fix it then. No. <laughs> Do you have anything else for me? No, sir. I Coach, appreciate you guys doing this up here. Coach, thank you for the time. Go Falcons. Good luck to you guys. Appreciate it.